why everybody keeps breaking them and don't understand how to keep from breaking them. Doesn't. Doesn't. Do, didn't. Doesn't. Doesn't. Anyways, thanks for the comment from the peanut gallery. Okay, so yesterday we did learning lesson on aftermarket mirrors versus the Ford factory mirrors and why you can't buy them from the parts store like everybody seems to think. So today we're going to do an episode on door handles. Here I have a broken door handle which is seems to happen to everybody with an OBS truck. So we've got a couple of solutions to fix this but first we're going to get to the root of the problem and why you keep breaking them and what you should look for and how to fix your door handles. Um, surprise, surprise, the broken one here in my hand is made by Dorman. Not a great quality part, hence why they break often. So, what we run into a lot is, I see posts pretty much daily on about every Facebook group known to man that's related to an OBS truck. I broke a door handle, OBS life, gotta roll my window down, open the door from the outside, blah blah blah. Well, mostly it's from shitty handles and worn cables, weak doors, and uh, improper maintenance. So we're gonna go over a few techniques to check your door to find out exactly what your problem is before you go and spend more money on a door handle just to break it three days later. So, unfortunately, I don't have any of the latch assemblies or cables in stock. We actually sold all of those yesterday. So, first thing to do is take door panel off the truck Check your cable assembly, make sure it's not stretched out, uh, that's a really common problem. Look at your latch handle assembly in the door itself, and also look at your latch mechanism on the side of the door. I thought of something else, be right back. And I'm back. So, check your cable assembly, make sure it's not stretched and wore. It's it's a common issue, but it's not as common as the other wear items in the door. Check your latch assemblies, make sure they're lubed properly, they're, um, they're not rusty, they've got plenty of uh, release action in them. Another big contributor is worn door pins and striker kit. If you open the door and the door drops, you have to yank on the handle harder to get the door latch to undo. The very first thing everybody should check is door pins and strikers. We have made a convenient little kit that comes with everything together so you can swap it out and you don't have to worry about it. One kit per door. Check that. The other thing and the very most common thing that everybody overlooks is Ford didn't put enough support material in the door handle assembly where it attaches to the door. I say the handle assembly, the, the, the door itself. And what happens is over time the door fatigues, a lot of guys break the door handle completely out of the door and then they try and cobble it together with a big washer and a bolt and all kinds of different methods. So we have got this door handle reinforcement plate which works better than a washer and a, and a bolt and welding the door back and all that. It's a really simple install. The hardest part is taking the, the door panel off the door. So what happens is in the, the factory metal on the door it starts to fatigue and the door itself will give each time you pull on the handle. And when the door gives, it winds up having to yank harder on the handle to get the latch assembly to open, again, breaking your handle. So this plate goes in place. We offer it with the rivets already. The only thing you have to supply is your time and a rivet gun. Goes in place of, uh, goes under the handle assembly, drill a couple of holes, install your rivets, bolt your handle right back down to it. It's a one, two, three process. This actually strengthens the door. It fixes the weak point in the door area so that way you don't have the metal fatigue and the give in the door itself and the handle assembly will work properly. So this is a big key. Even if you don't have a broken handle issue or if you don't have a, um, a broken door assembly issue, this will take flex out of the door and have a better open and close effect on the door basically strengthening the door up. So next step is off the handles. Everybody breaks a handle, first thing they do is let's replace it. They go get a cheap Dorman handle from the local parts store like this. 
and replace it. Three weeks later, two days later, 15 minutes later, you unyanked on it and broke it. The main issue with the Dorman handles versus just about anything else on the market is the, the shape and the quality of it. Yes, it looks a lot like a factory handle, but it does not fit like a factory handle and it does not function like a factory handle. We will get to that in just a minute. So another thing a lot of people recommend and I see posted all the time is just get you a metal handle from an 80s F100, F250, whatever, an, an 80s F-series truck. They were made out of metal and you won't break those. Well, maybe true in some aspects, but it's still pretty false too. So these are just a pot metal handle. Yes, they're a, a, a great replacement. Uh, if you want something a little different than the factory handle, they are metal. They will hold up a little longer, but they're still going to break because they're just a pot metal handle. And if you haven't addressed the cable, the bushings, the uh, the pins, the weak point in the door, this is going to break just as fast as this handle. So, yeah, it works, but it's not a solution to your issue. Definitely check all of your other weak points in the door. So there's two options that people use a lot of that aren't the best, but they work. So another thing is people talk about the billet handles. These are a great option. You're not going to break this. You're going to rip the door completely out, hence needing this panel. These are made out of billet 6061 aluminum. Never going to give up, never going to break. I say that some of you hulks out there probably break it somehow, but a normal person shouldn't be able to break this handle. Another option we have. And the last option is if you want to look and feel without having to buy aluminum handles and you've addressed the door plate, the bushings, the cables and all that and your door assembly is working properly, buy an OEM handle. The OEM handle is by far better quality than the doorman handle ever thought about being. Um, we've actually done some side by side it's going to be hard for you to see here the grip in the center is more refined on the forward handle versus the doorman handle if you it's going to be hard to see on the camera I'm going to try and hold it up the doorman handle is thinner plastic than the Ford factory handle so therefore it gives up a little easier and then it's going to be really really hard to see especially since I don't have a door but I'm going to do my very best for you guys here. The bend in the handle is not proper. So with the bend in the handle not proper, when you reach down to pull on it, it doesn't release the latch assembly like it should because it's not got the proper bend in it. So it's a great cheap option, but it's not as good as the Ford factory handle. I can't tell you how many trucks that I bought personally that people have put the doorman handle in and it's broke off or I get it and I've had it two days and the damn handle breaks and I can put a factory handle on it, it fits better in your hand, it opens the door better, it fits against the door panel better and it just looks better in the truck than the doorman handle. So anyway, in conclusion, if you've got broken door handles, step one, check your door bushings and your striker. Make sure they're good to go. If they're good, pull your door panel off go to your cable assembly. Make sure that it's not loose, it's not stretched, it's not worn out, it's properly lubed. If you've done that and all that checks out, go to your latch mechanism. Make sure your latch mechanism, the, the pivot bushings in it aren't worn out and that they're both lubed properly. Don't just coat them with lube because then they'll get gunked up with dirt and debris from the road. Just give them a nice small spray lube, open and close the door a couple of times, make sure that the latch assembly works properly. If that all checks out, double check under your handle latch assembly on the inside of the door and make sure your door is not flexing. This is absolutely the most common thing we see. We sell probably a hundred of these a month to fix that issue. This will help, even if you don't have that issue, this will help strengthen the inner part of the door and make the latch mechanism work even that much more efficiently. And last but not least, Make sure you have a good proper handle. Don't use, I, I picked up the Dorman one. Make sure you have a good proper handle. Use Ford or use a billet handle. For those that want factory look, obviously Ford. Those that like the aftermarket custom, go with this. This is another okay option. You know, pick up at the local hardware store or whatever. These will work. 
absolutely don't use these. These things break fast. So anyway, in conclusion, there are a lot of things that can cause a broken door handle on your truck. Proper maintenance is key. Check everything in the door. Don't just go replacing the handle because you broke it because there's probably something else going on with the truck because these should not break regularly unless there is an issue elsewhere in the truck. So check everything that I told you. Hinges, I'm going to reiterate, hinges, cable assemblies, latch mechanisms, and the inner strength of the door. Check all of that first. If that's the case, and all of that working, you've probably got a bad door handle, so then it's time to upgrade to a factory handle or a billet aluminum one. Thanks for your time. Hope this helps. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. But for those of you that uh, are already members of our YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter on cpaddict.com. That'll keep you up to date with the latest and greatest products and what's happening with CP Addict at all times. And we also send out special coupon codes through that email periodically for our loyal customers. So thanks for being a watch, watcher and listener. If you have any ideas, questions, uh, topics you want us to cover, please send us a message. You can send it to info at CP Addict, contact at CP Addict, give us a call, or even uh, comment on this YouTube video. Thanks.